Well, Dad has got the pan done, and he says there's something in it. Hello, everyone. Dan Herb with Dan Herb Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here at my dream claim. Polly and I were here just two or three days ago, and I found three really nice nuggets. So today, I brought my dad back, and we're going to see if we can find some more. If it sounds like I'm yelling at the camera, that river's really loud. Wish me luck today and I hope you enjoy. Now I've already been detecting for a little bit. I found my first signal. I will be using the Gold Monster 1000 from Mine Lab. Gotta say thanks to the guys from Kelly Co for supplying me with that metal detector. And I did find a signal right up in there. It's mostly showing iron, but it does blip over to the gold range once in a while. So let's see what it is. So we have the signal in the bucket. Dad's gonna pan it out and see if it was anything. It was showing iron. It was close to the surface. I'm not holding my breath, but we'll find something. Well, Dad has got the pan done, and he says there's something in it. What you got? There we go. Look at that, the first small nugget of the day in the first pan of the day. Just a picker, it's not huge, but that's what was setting off my detector. That's a pretty good detector. There it is. One pan, one picker. That's a good ratio. Okay, we have the second signal of the day, right in here. So a lot of the small signals can still show iron but be gold because there's not enough mass of the metal for the detector to understand what it is. Also, if you have uh, gold in highly mineralized iron stones, it can also fool it to going over to the iron side. So it is good practice to dig all your good signals in reasonable spots. So yeah, it must have been a hot rock. There's nothing in the pan. And we have another one. And this one is blipping to gold once in a while. In fact, it's really going to gold. I think I got a piece of gold. Let's check it out. So it looks like it's in my pan now. Let's go pan her out. Now I will check through this classifier because some of the nuggets here are big enough to not go through a half inch classifier. But that signal was kind of small, so it's probably not a huge nugget like that. Here we go, what do we got? A whole lot of nothing. Oh, how disappointing. I thought that was gold. So welcome back to day two. Uh, day one, we found a little bit of gold, but really not very much. We really exhausted that bar and didn't find anything more. So we decided to try something new. We came uphill and we have this little gully right here. Bedrock there, bedrock there, and round cobbles in the bottom. We're gonna move some of those cobbles, roll them down the hill and see what we can find. So our first hole right there was a failure. We couldn't find any gravels at the bottom. We've already filled it back in. Our second hole here, we found, digging down in, we found river gravels at the bottom. We've dug half a bucket. Doug has dug half a, bu a bucket of the river gravels from the very bottom. We're gonna take it down to the river and see if it shows any potential. Now, one thing about this area is almost all of the gold is sitting on bedrock. There's almost nothing in any of the gravels. Luckily, there's bedrock there, there's bedrock there, and we should hopefully be getting to the bottom of the ravine, the bedrock bottom, and hopefully there's gold. Let's go see what we got. So someone in the past had the exact same idea. There's a bit of a ravine that they've really dug out. This is a great big pile of the coarse tailings, the cobbles that they dug out of it. Dug all the way into this big rock, 
and they dug all the way around the big rock. So I'm thinking to put that kind of work into it, they were finding something. That's why I don't mind putting a lot of work into that ravine. Hopefully we find something. We weren't on bedrock yet, and there's a really nice piece of gold in there. We know where we're digging. <laughs> so only one piece in that half bucket of gold, uh, of gold? Half bucket of gold. Yeah, uh, half bucket of dirt. Uh, but that is enough to tell me that that is a place I want to put some effort into. Um, we might go back and do a little bit more there today, but really I'm going to bring the big brutes out, bring Mike and Pete and Bryce and the guys that can really move boulders and see if I can clear that gully of all the big boulders. See what's at the bottom. Here's the hole we're digging down in. We're gonna try to take one more half bucket or so out of here and see if we get a second flake. But really, we shouldn't put too much effort into testing this stuff now until we get down to the bottom of the crevice. But we got some big rocks to move. Well, we have another two half buckets, sort of, uh, dug. So we're gonna take those back and pan them, but I think we're gonna call our quits on this hole and get the big roots out here to move some rocks for us. So we're gonna process these two buckets here, two half buckets, and see what they have. We're hoping to find at least one more chip of gold, but really, if we don't, we know what we need to know. It is plaster material, river-run plaster material that has plaster gold in it. That's all we need to know to work that gully more. Anything in here is just a bonus. Well, Dad and I each found one tiny speck. Not very much for two, uh, bucket, two half buckets, but we each found one tiny speck. There is gold there. I will be going back to do more in that trench and hopefully come out with some nuggets. Unfortunately, not all that much gold to show you for this trip. I will show you what we got though, right here. So there's our gold total for the trip. Dad and I had a great time. Found a couple bigger pieces, a lot of smaller stuff. All in all, not a bad haul for, you know, the one day we were out there. I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Dan Hurt Prospecting. I could not offer these videos to all of you for free if it weren't for my patrons on Patreon. So if you are a patron, thank you very much. If you'd like to learn more about supporting free education and entertainment in the mining field online, please go to patreon.com slash danherd to learn more. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. And until the next one, bye. Bye.